Last week, we built a very simple generic inquiry screen in Acumatica. And then at the very end, we enabled it for OData. Now this week, we're going to take Microsoft Excel and use that OData connection to connect directly to our Acumatica data. Reminder that we're using tryacumatica.com, so you can follow these steps on your own computer if you like. Now, last week we stopped on this screen right here. We had built a simple generic inquiry screen, and at the very end we checked this box to expose it via OData. And now, before we go to Microsoft Excel, I'd just like to show you the path that you need to use in order to connect to this inquiry screen. You just um, go to the URL for your Acumatica implementation, then you type in OData, and if you only have one company, that's all you need. You can hit enter, but in this case, we actually have more than one company on tryacumatica.com, so we need to put slash and the company name that we want to connect to. Now, if we click back over here, we can see that's my username at the company name, so the name is just company in this case. So slash OData slash company, now I can hit enter. And because OData uses the same security as Acumatica, I have to log in. I'll use admin and 123 for the password. And then what this is going to show us is an XML file. Now this looks uh, not very pretty. It's kind of a programmer's tool. But I just wanted to show you that you can connect to OData from a browser or from other tools, not just Microsoft Excel. And this is what OData sends back. This is how it talks to the application. So we're going to go ahead and take this same path, but now we'll use Excel. And to connect from Excel, you just go to OData on the ribbon, you go to From Other Sources, and From OData Data Feed. I put in that path right there, and I'll put in that same login information, admin and 123. Now what this does, you can see on the bottom, it's getting the table list. So it's going out and it's getting the inquiry screens that I have access to in Acumatica and that are enabled for OData. Here's our list and here's the one that we built last week, so I'll check it off. And of course this looks a lot nicer than the XML file because Excel knows how to interpret that information. I'll click Next. You don't really need to worry about this screen. I'll click Finish. And this is the same as that screen that we don't need to worry about. I'll just replace it. And now I need to decide what to do with my OData, the, the data from Acumatica. And this week I'm just going to use a simple table and I'll put it right here in my Excel file and click OK. And now you'll see on the bottom it's retrieving the data. So it's going out to Acumatica and it's actually getting live data from Acumatica. And it's going to take that data and it will put it right back here in my Excel file in this cell B3 because that's where I told it to put it and there it is. Now one nice thing is you can tell this is out of order. I can sort this in Excel and I can even apply filters if I want and Excel will remember the sorting and the filtering that I applied so next time I refresh it I won't have to resort it or refilter it. Now I usually like to come up here and turn off the grid lines to make it look a little bit nicer. And that's basically it. Now we have live Acumatica data in Excel and just to kind of prove that this really is live data, I'm going to take this customer, go back into Acumatica, and let's just change the city on this customer and refresh so we can prove that it is pulling live data. So I'll call up this customer record. And how about instead of Little Falls, we'll call it Big Falls for the city. And I'll save it. Now as soon as I save it in Acumatica, that's saved. Now I can come back to Excel. You'll see it still says Little Falls because I haven't refreshed yet. All I need to do is go up to Data on the ribbon and now do Refresh All. And you'll see down in the lower right it's retrieving the data again. And as soon as it's done we should see Little Falls change to Big Falls. Because it really is going out and grabbing live data from Acumatica over that OData connection. And there it is. It's done refreshing and it's now Big Falls because it grabbed the information right out of Acumatica.